Hi, welcome to Firm Cardio Sculpt. I'm Allie, and with me are fellow master instructors, Lisa, Jen, Krista, and Libby. If you're new to the firm workout, I'd like you to follow Libby. She'll be performing a modified version of each exercise. This 55 minute workout combines fat burning aerobics and effective weight training to get you the fastest results possible. Because you have both large and small muscle groups, you'll need a variety of weights. To start, I recommend a pair of three, five, and eight pound dumbbells. I will cue you which weights to use. If you feel the weights are too heavy or you cannot maintain proper form, adjust your weights to meet your needs. And of course, you'll need the firm fanny lifter, the key to getting the results you want. With this adjustable step, you'll shape and tone your thighs and buttocks and burn more fat during cardio routines. Let's get started. Inhale top. Reach all the way through. Exhale bottom. Again, inhale to the top. Fill up your lungs and exhale bottom. Low jack, right left. Tap side, right and left. Strong through the arms. Think low. Tap right, left knee. Push side and then overhead. Two more. Take it down and up. Knee lift, chest press. Strong through the chest here. Tuck the abs in. Right knee and then squat. Overhead press with this. Beginners, don't go so deep. Keep them shallow. Hold bottom round and flat in the back. Tuck the chin. Feel this in your mid and lower back. Roll to the top. Low jack, left, right, tap side. We'll do that again on the opposite side. Four more. Tap left, right knee. Push side, push top, down and up. Heart rate's coming up here. Knee lift, chest press. We're warming up to get to the fanny lifter. Squeeze. Four, three, left knee, then squat, push up. Sink low. Keep the knees behind the toes here. Chest lifted. Hold bottom, round and flatten the back again. Tuck the chin. Tuck the chin. Last one, roll top. Step touch, right, left, side to side. Sink deep into the motion. Engage the legs. Back cross step, add your tricep push to warm the back of the arms. Four more. Back cross, kick and dip. Back cross, kick. Watch the front knee, keep it behind the toe, chest up. Hold the heel down in the back. Stretch all the way through the back of the leg. Tuck your pelvis, arms to the side, fast pelvic tucks. Eight times, warming through the left hip flexor. Abs in, lift and lower with an overhead. Inhale, drop the left knee low. Two more, hold bottom, let's stretch our back. Take the hands to the front, drop the head through the middle. And now shift the weight to the back foot, stretching the right hamstring. Bring the right arm across to stretch the shoulder. Step into the right foot. Beginners, keep your knee low. Others, take the knee to the chest to stretch the outer thigh. Step touch, left, right, eight times. Let's do that again on the other side. Four more. Step back, cross, tricep push. Back of the arms here. Four. Back cross, kick and dip. Back cross, kick and dip. Take the right knee low. Hold the right heel down in the back. Again, stretch through the calf. Abs in tight, pelvic tuck, arms to the side. Speed it up. Eight times. Hitting that right hip flexor. Four, three, lift and lower with an overhead. Deep breath in, exhale out. And two, Hold bottom. This time, let's stretch the chest. Take the hands to the back and open up the shoulder blades. And release. Step into the right foot. Hard flexion through the left. Bring the left arm across to stretch the shoulder. And now step into the left foot. Beginners knee low, others knee up. Hitting the outer thigh. March center, right left. Give me a big power march here. Get the heart rate up. Four. Three march, kick left. One, two, now out of squat. 
Now left, right. One, two, three, kick and squat. Now right. One, two, three, kick and squat. Last time on the left. Great, let's go to push-ups. Beginners, watch Libby. Others can either stay on their knees or go up on their toes. Lower and lift. Down. Lead through the chest. Very important here to keep the back flat. Abs pulled in tight. Supporting the torso. Last two. Let's break it up. Two counts. Down, two up. Lower. And lift. Again, resist locking your elbows at the top. Three count hold at the bottom. Three, two, squeeze top. Once again, three, two, squeeze top. Push back. Stretch the upper body. And now roll to the top. Crisscross your arms to stretch the back of them. That's your tricep. Take your hands to the floor. Beginners, keep your knees more unlocked. Follow Libby. Heels down. Alternate the heel press. Right and left. Right, left. Good. Feel it in the back of your legs. Last one. Separate your feet a little bit and walk your hands into your legs, feeling it in the back of them. Now take your hands to your legs and walk them up to the top. Tuck your chin. Turn to the front. Full form squat. Reach all the way up. Sink bottom. Weight in the heels here. Two. Full bottom round and flatten the back. Three times. Tuck the chin. Two. And now roll to the top. Inhale up. Deep breath in. Exhale bottom. Again, inhale up. Your heart rate should be up. You should be ready to work out. Exhale bottom. Fabulous warm up. You'll need your fanny lifter. Turn it diagonally center. We'll start with push ups. Beginners follow Libby. Others, you can go onto your knees or come up on your toes. Your choice. Keep your abs pulled in tight. Ready, lower, and lift. Think about working the upper body here. Strengthening the chest and the back of the arms. Lower and exhale. Remember not to lock the elbows at the top position. Two more. Let's make it a little bit harder. Three count hold at the bottom. Three, two, squeeze top. One more of these, I know they're hard. Three, two, squeeze top. Come down onto your knees and let's stretch our chest. Taking the hands to the back. Inhale and exhale. Turn your fanny lifter to the front. Let's work heavy lower body. You'll need to get your heaviest pair of dumbbells. Squat to do so. You can place your dumbbells on your shoulders or hold them at your sides. Have a seat on the edge of your box, keeping the chest lifted. We'll hover and then sit. Here we go. Hover and sit. Think about squeezing your buttocks. Up. Now hover and stand. Hover and sit. Push through the heels. Again. Hover, stand, hover, sit. Now three count hold. Three, two, and stand. Three count hold, sit. Down, chest up, have a seat. Let's do that again. Hold, two, and stand. Now three count hold and sit. And release, great work. Release one of your dumbbells. We're gonna work the large part of the back. Place your left hand center box. Place it at the bottom, row top. Lead through your elbow here. Remember, there are different ways you can do this exercise. Look at Libby if you need to for a modification. Two to go. Now two counts up. Up, up, and down. Once again, lift, lift, and lower. Hold at the top for three, two, release. Again, three, two, release. Place the dumbbell on the floor. Stretch out that side. And let's move into leg press. Squat to get your dumbbells. We'll be working the right leg, 
Place the right foot center box. Push to the top. Up and down. Squeeze through the buttocks. Lift and lower. You have four more. Beginners land gently here with the heel on the floor. Tap twice on the top. Reverse the motion, down and up. Lower and lift. Smooth to the bottom. Two. Three count pulse at the bottom. Three, two, drive it to the top. Again, three, two, to the top. Good job, release off the box. Let's work the left lat. Right hand center box, abs pulled in tight. Row to the top, squeeze the back. Exhale, inhale. Think about how you want to shake your back here. Nice and strong to the top. Two. Two counts, lift and two lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Again, up. Three count hold at the top. Contract the back. And release, once again, squeeze. Take the dumbbell to the floor and let's stretch. Take the left arm across this time. Tuck the pelvis, lean into that side. Good job. Let's go back into heavy lower body. Squat to get your weight. Come behind your fanny lifter. Left foot center. Ready? Press to the top. Up and down. This is a long set. Stay with me. You can do it. You have four from here and then we'll reverse the move. Three, two, here we go. Tap twice on top, lower and lift. Sink down into it, down and up. Good, two, three count pulse at the bottom. Three, two, drive it to the top. Once again, three, two, to the top. Excellent work. Let's pyramid down to our medium dumbbells. Squat to do so. Have a seat on the edge of your fanny lifter. Roll your shoulders to the back. Keeping the elbows pulled rear, we're going to work the biceps, which are the front of the arms. Ready, lift and lower. Up and down. Remember not to let your torso swing with this exercise. You want to keep it nice and still. Squeeze at the top. Watch your bicep working. Two counts, lift and two lower. Lift, lift, and lower. Again, up. You have two more like this. Break up the move. Focus on the arms here. Last one like this. Let's make it just a little bit harder. Three count, hold. Three, two, and down. Again, right out in front of the chest. And down. Here are your last two. You can do it. And lower. Here's your final one. Make it your best. Hold bottom to stretch. Let's move into low impact. Squat to release your dumbbells. And move your fanny lifter out of the way. Make sure you have plenty of room to move side to side. March right, left. Step hamstrings. Pull the elbows to the back. Four more. Now double step touch. You can keep this on the ground or you can add a little bit of power. A little jump here. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Up and around. Step hamstring. Get that heart rate up. Double step touch. Up and around. Let's break it down. Step hamstring twice. Double step touch. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Let's do it again. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Come on, high energy. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Power march right here. Knees up. Come on, pump the arms. We'll be going on to a new combination next. Stick with me. We have eight, seven. Come on, big march here. Four. Step touch, right, left. Arm side. Squeeze the shoulders. Four. Step and abduct the left leg. Push it out and push down. Push up and down. Step 
squat and drag the foot. Squat and drag the foot. Down. March left, right. Step touch, left, right. Eight, seven. Great. Four. Step and abduct the right leg. Push up, push down. Two to go. Step squat and drag the foot. Lower and lift. Lower. Two more. Down. March right, left. Eight times. Move back over. We're going to put the whole thing together. Here we go. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Step back up. Step squat and drag the foot. Lower and lift. Woo, stick with me. Two. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Step back duck. Step squat and drag the foot. Four times. Lift. Chest lifted. Two. Power march. Right, left. Eight. Seven. We're going to go through it all again. Stick with me. We're almost near the end. Step hamstring. Double step touch. Step and abduct the right leg. Push. Step squat and drag the foot. Four times. Lift. Lower and lift. Two. This is it. Step hamstring. Left. Double step touch. Step abduct the left leg. Push out. Step squat and drag. Lower. Drag the foot. Down. Last two. Last one. Great work. Get your fanny lifter and move it center. We'll be working the back of the arm, so you'll need one heavy dumbbell. This is the tricep area. Have a seat on the edge of your fanny lifter. Take the dumbbell up behind the head. Now push it to the top. Focus on squeezing the back of the arms. Exhale and inhale. Don't let the dumbbell come over your head like this. You don't want to take it over. You want to keep it to the back. Elbows pulled in. Now hold center and pulse for eight. Squeeze the back of the arm. Up. Good. Take deep breaths. Now slow it down. Lift to the top. Four times. Stay with me. Two. Last one. Great work. Get to match this weight for heavy lower body work. Have a seat back on the edge of your fanny lifter. We'll be doing hover squats again. Take your feet hip width apart, keeping your chest lifted. Remember, you want to squeeze to the top. Ready? Push through your heels. Hover and sit. Four times. Straight up. Don't come forward like this. Now stay with me. Hold for four. Right in the middle. Pulse top for three. Here's three, two, have a seat. Hover and sit. Four times. And down. Three. Good. Squeeze the buttocks. Hold center for four. You can do this. Chin up. Pulse top for three. Lift. Great work. Have a seat. Squat to release your dumbbells. Get your medium weights. We're moving into double arm lat row. You're going to have a seat on the edge of your fanny lifter, dropping your chest over, working your back again. Dumbbells held forward, leading with your elbows. Ready? Lift and lower. You have four reps. And down. We'll do that same pattern that we did with hover squats. Hold top for four counts. Squeeze your back. Now pulse top for three. Really focus. Three, two, all the way down. Lift and lower for four. Full range of motion here. Pull to the box. Stretch to the bottom. Two. Heat contract and hold for four counts. Squeeze. Come on. Pulse top for three. Let's do it. Three, two, and down. Good work. Release your dumbbells. Separate your fanny lifter. Beginners, stay with the blue segment. Others, stay with the purple. You'll need your medium dumbbells for this exercise. Stand behind your fanny lifter. Full foot steps onto the box. Alternate right, left. Right. This is a lunge. And left. Keep your knee behind the toe and your chest lifted. 
Let's add a bicep curl at the top. Lunge and curl. Down. Good. Focus on that upper body. Alternate this two times. Lower and lift. Now add an overhead press in the back to work the shoulders. Push. Alternate your lunge with your bicep curl. Two times. Overhead press in the back. Exhale. Now let's take out the arms. Four count lunge. Down middle. Down and pull back. Change left. Down middle. Squeeze the glutes. Down and pull back. Change right. Feel it in the buttocks. Squeeze. Down and change left. Last one like this. Keep going. Okay, let's separate the, our feet across the fanny lifter. Toes turned out. Prep at the bottom with the elbows in. We're gonna work the inner thighs and shoulders. Lift and lower. To the top and bottom. And two. Now let's add the shoulder work. Sweep to the side. Keep the elbows in line with the wrists and shoulders at the top. Two. Now quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, and slow. Again, quick, quick, and slow. Give that to me two more times. Squeeze. Last one like that. Quick, quick. Now let's slow it down. Lift and lower. All the way up and down. Two. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. Again, quick, quick, slow. We have two more times with that. Quick, quick, stay with me, slow. Here's your last one, then we're moving on. Great, hold bottom, reverse your bicep curl eight times. Feel it in the front of the arms. Keep the shoulders pulled back. Really contract the buttocks and the inner thighs here. I know this is hard, you're almost done. Last two, and last one. Walk your toes and heels in. Squat to release your dumbbells. Stand behind the box, inhale. Good, and now exhale. Push the hands away from you. Feeling the stretch all the way to the front of the arms. And down. Excellent work. Everyone would need their purple segment for this time. March center, right, left. We're going into a step box pattern. You want to make sure you have a full foot on the box, eyes cast down. Samba, right leg. Press front and back. Press into it and rear. Let's get the heart rate up. Step knee, pull down. Up, pull. Use your back here. Squeeze. Samba, left leg, press, and back. Two more. Step knee, pull down, right knee, up, pull. Two to go. Samba, right leg, four times. We'll add on this time. Have fun with this segment. Step knee, pull down, up. Two to go. Let's add on. Three knee repeater, tapping rear. Three, two, down and do it again. Three, two, now let's try that to the side. Three knee repeater, exit and do it again. Great, Samba, left leg, press into it. And two, step knee, pull down. Big pull, stand tall. Here we go, three knee repeater, tap rear. Three, two, and exit again. Three, two, let's do that to the side. Tap side, three times. Exit and again. Three, Sambo, right leg. Two times. Step knee, pull down for two. Three knee repeater, tapping rear. Three, two, now to the side. Samba, left leg, twice. Step knee, pull down for two. Three knee repeater, tap rear. Come on, stay with me. And now to the side. 
Let's break it down even more. Samba, right leg once. Step knee. Three knee repeater, tap side. Exit, samba left. Step knee. Three knee repeater, tap side. You're doing great. Exit, samba right. Step knee. Three knee repeater, tap side. Samba left. Step knee. Three knee repeater side. Here we go, last time through. Samba right. Step knee. Three knee repeater side. Stay with me, one more. Samba left. Step knee. Three knee repeater side. And exit. Reassemble your fanny lifter. Then you'll need to get two heavy dumbbells for lower body work. Squat to get them. Come to the center. Your right leg will be working. Prep the left leg, shoulders back. Ready, dip the left leg rear. Down and up. Beginners, go shallow, not deep. Remember to watch Libby. You have four from here. Lower and lift. Keep the front knee behind the toe. Let's separate the feet and squat bottom. Chest up again. Press into the heels. Inhale, exhale. Watch the knees, keep them behind the toes. Two to go. Let's work the left leg. Pull the right leg in, then dip it rear. Lower and lift. Take the right knee low. This is going to be a long lower body segment, so stick with me. Two more. Separate your feet, squat bottom. Eight, chin up, down, and lift. You're doing great. Four. Think about tightening the buttocks at the top. Last two. Okay, pull the left leg in, dip it to the back. Working the right leg in the front here. Down and lift. Adding on, three count pulse in the back. Three, two, pull the legs together once again. Three, two, separate your feet, squat to the bottom. Just four this time. And two. Okay, three count pulse at the bottom. Chest up. Squeeze to the top. Again, three, two. Pull your right leg in, then dip it to the back. Lower and lift. We're almost there. Two. Okay, three count pulse in the back. Three, two. You've got one more. Three, two. Great work. Squat to release your heavy dumbbells and get your lightest set of weights for tricep kickbacks. Move your fanny lifter center. Have a seat. Extend the legs out in front of you. Drop your chest over. Pull the elbows to the back. We're gonna focus on working the back of the arms. Here we go. Up and down. Take deep breaths. Exhale and inhale. If you'd like, you can turn the palms to the top to make it a little bit tougher. Great, you're halfway there, stay with me. This is a really hard area for most to work. Lift and lower. Here are your final four, let's make them your best. Up. Don't let your body rock, just move the arms. And last one, release your dumbbells, let's stretch it out. Crisscross the arms in the back. Deep inhale, and exhale. Okay, let's go for heavy dumbbells now for lower body work. Stand behind your fanny lifter, right foot center, press to the top. You have 12 of these. Focus on really sculpting your hamstrings and glutes. Push to the top. Using the fanny lifter is ideal for this. 
lift. You have four more. Land gently to the floor. Really resist. Last two. Last one. Great job. Release one of your heavy dumbbells. Keep the other and have a seat. We're going to work the triceps again. Come to the top. Lower the weights. Lift and lower. Remember to keep the elbows pulled in. The dumbbell stays behind the head, not over the head, like this. Keep it to the rear. Eight. I know the back of your arms are getting tired. Stay with me, these are your last four. Sit up nice and tall. And two. Good job, last one. Get the match this way, we're gonna do left leg leg press. Back behind the fanny lifter, left foot center box, chest up, press to the top. 12 reps. Land as gently as you can. Really making the left leg work. Eight. This is really tough. Hang in there. Final four. Two, Woo. and last one, good job. Squat to release your heavy dumbbells. Come behind your fanny lifter, place the right heel center box, inhale up, and now exhale, put pressure on the right elbow, squat down into your stretch. Feel it in the back of your legs and the back of the arm. And release, let's change legs. Take the left heel into the box, inhale up, and exhale and place pressure on the left elbow. Sink down into it. And release, inhale. And exhale down slowly. Move your fanny lifter to the side and then separate it, taking the purple segment to the front. You'll need your lightest dumbbells. Stand to the back, prep your weights to the front. Now tap side, right and left. Sink low, right and left. Four more, tap right and then left on the box. Tap and left, two to go. Add your tricep and bicep, push away and curl. Take it down and up, two more. Tap your box, right, left, sink deep. Engage your lower body here. Four more. Now let's add upper body, bicep overhead. And down, again, bicep overhead. One more. Tap the box, right, left. Now twice on the right. Tap side, left, right. Eight times, good job. We'll do it all again. Tap left and then right on the box. Tap right, tap, right, down and up, at the tricep and bicep, left arm, out and in, two, tap your box, left, right, sink deep, eight, seven, engage your gluteals here, four, add the bicep overhead to the top and down, three, Two to go. Last one and then we'll move on. Climb the box, right leg. Change left. Now up and lunge, right left. Let's do it again. Climb the box right, prep the weights, change left. Up and lunge, right left. Let's add a medial delt. Climb right with arms to the side, change left. Take out the arms and lunge. Let's do it again. Climb the box right with arms. Change left. Now up and lunge without arms. Let's lead left leg, climb with arms. Climb right. Up and lunge left, right. Climb the box left with arms. And right. Up and lunge. Step squat, right left on the floor. Right and up, left. Two to go, keep the chest lifted. Add the hammer curl to the top to work the biceps. 
the front of the arms. Two, three count pulse to the right. Three, two, and lift, change left. Three, two, lift back to the right. Three, two, last one on the left, stay with me. Three, two, and lift. Squat to release your dumbbells. Reassemble your fanny lifter and move it center. You'll need one heavy dumbbell for seated bicep curls. Elbow in, lift and lower. Curl to the top. Exhale and inhale. Watch your bicep working here. Don't let your torso swing. Keep it nice and still. Two more. Two counts lift, two lower. Up, up, and down, nice and smooth. Lift, lift, now three count pulse to the top. Three, two, and down, once again. Three, two, and down, two counts lift. Up, and down, three count pulse. Three, two, lower, two counts up, lift, and down, three count pulse, this is it. And lower, release your dumbbell, let's stretch the bicep. Take the palm up and to the back. Feel the stretch in the top of the arm. And now push the palm away from you, deepening the stretch. Take your left hand behind your head, flatten out your palm, drop your right arm to the side. Beginners, I want you to go shallow here. Others can take it all the way down, all the way up. Four to go. Reach. Feel it in your waist. Two more. Now twist toward the right knee. Twist toward the knee. Beginners, you'll place one hand on the back of the box. Or you can take the hand behind the head. Big twist. Four to go. Full rotation through the torso. Two. Drop the right arm to the side. Four times. Reach and down. Two. Twist towards the right knee. Four times. Take deep breaths. And last one, shoulder rolls up and around. Loosen up the upper body. Two. And last one. Let's move in the left bicep curl. Take your dumbbell and your left elbow into the inner thigh. Ready? Curl to the top. Lift and lower. Squeeze the head of the bicep. You have four to go. Lift and lower. Keep the torso still. Let's make it a little tougher. Two counts lift. Lift and lower. Again, all the way to the top. Now three count pulse at the top. Three, two, and down. One more. Three, two, and down, two counts up. Lift and lower, three count pulse to the top. This is a long set, stick with me. Two counts up, lift, and three count pulse to the top. Three, two, good job. Release the dumbbell and stretch it out. Take the palm up and to the back. Once again, feeling the stretch in the bicep. And now push the palm away from you, deepening the stretch. Take the right hand behind the head, flatten out the left palm, twist to the left, drop it down and up. Remember beginners, go shallow. Feel it right in the waist. Lengthen the torso. Two more. Twist towards your left knee. Remember beginners, place that left hand on the back of the box. Twist and out. Keep your abs pulled in tight here. Two to go. Drop the left hand to the side. Just four this time. Two. Twist towards the left knee. Last four. And two. Last one, good work. We'll be moving into pec flies. You'll need medium to heavy dumbbells here. Come behind your fanny lifter, roll to your side, and then your back. Take your heels up on the box, open and close your arms. Open and close. 
squeeze the chest. Four to go. Don't let your back of your arms hit the floor. Keep them tight. Two open, two close. Open, nice and smooth. Again. Control the weights. Don't swing the arms. Feel it in your chest. Last one like this. Three count pulse at the bottom. Three, two, lift up. Again, three, two. Now half time, lower and lift. Four, lower and lift. Two, two counts down, two up, down, and up. Once again, we're almost there. Three count pulse at the bottom. Three, two, Squeeze top, here's your last one. Three, two, squeeze top. Release the dumbbells, roll to your side, and then bring yourself top. Let's stretch out our chest. Take the hands to the back and open up. Take a deep breath in, exhale out. You did a great job. Carefully stand up. Squat to get your dumbbells and move them aside. You'll need your lightest set of dumbbells for this next set. Drop down onto your knees, chest over the fanny lifter, V the arms up eight times. We're going to work the back of the shoulders with this. It's a very difficult exercise, so you'll want to make sure you have light dumbbells. Exhale, inhale, squeeze the back of the shoulders, alternate right, left, four times, and three. Keep going, it's getting tough. Now three count pulse, arms together. Three, two, and down. Once more, three, two, and down. Release your dumbbells, let's stretch out. Crisscross your arms on your fanny lifter, tuck your chin. Let's go even deeper with this. Really pull to the chin to the chest. Separating the shoulder blades here, and release. Get one dumbbell, recline down onto the fanny lifter again. Take it behind your knee. Pull your heel into your glute. Keep both of your hips flat on the fanny lifter, hands on the floor. Lift and lower. Squeeze to the top. Up and down. Exhale and inhale. Focus on working the back of the leg and the glute here. Two more. Let's make it a little harder. Up and cross. Up and down. Up and cross. Up and down. You have two more of these. Up, cross, up, and down. Stay with me here. A little harder. Just up and cross. Eight times. Seven. Feel it in the outside of the gluteal. Four more. Lift and lower. Think about how great you're gonna look. Let's go through it again. Just up and down. Four, and down. Three, really push it to the top. Now up and cross. Up and down. Up and cross. Up and down. This is it, just up and cross. Final four. Three, and two. Last one, great work. Release the dumbbell from behind the knee and sink back into your stretch. Let's work the outer thigh. Roll down onto your side. Remember to keep your top hip over your bottom hip. Lead with your heel with your toe pointed down. We're working the outer thigh here. Let's go. Lift and lower. Control the movement of the leg. Don't let it swing. Lift and lower. Two. Knee in, toe shoot out. Pull it in, shoot out. In, out. This is gradually gonna get harder and harder. Really focus on leading with that heel. Two more. Let's add on. In and out, down and up. In and out, down and up. Two more of these, in and out, 
down and up. Last one. A little bit harder. Three count pulse in with the knee. Three, two, shoot out. Again. Three, two, shoot out. You have two more of these. Three, two, shoot out. Last one. Three, two, shoot out. Excellent work. Release the dumbbell to the front. Take the knee across. Feel the stretch in the outer thigh. Now push yourself to the top. Keep the bottom leg extended. Pull the knee into the chest. Great work. Let's work the opposite leg. Move your fanny lifter to the other side. Drop your chest over onto the fanny lifter. Taking the dumbbell behind the left knee. Pull the heel into the glute. Hands down. Lift and lower. Eight. Up and down. Squeeze. Four more. Remember how long this set is. Stay with me. Two. Now up and cross. Up and down. Up and cross. Up and down. Two more. Up and cross. Up and down. Last one like this. Even harder, just up and cross. Eight times. And seven. Really pull that heel in. Let's do this together. Four to go. Up and down. Two more. Okay, just up and down. We're almost there. Lift and lower. A little bit shorter set. Two. Up and cross. Up and down. One more, up and cross, up and down. Now just up and cross, dig in and let's do this. Up and cross, three, squeeze the buttocks. Last one, good work. Release the dumbbell, sit back into that side, stretch out. Move your fanny lifter out of your way. You'll need to take a light dumbbell to the outer thigh. Remember to lead through your heel, bottom leg extended. Lift and lower, eight times. Toe pointed down here. Think about working the outer thigh. Four to go, four and down. Two more. Now shoot in, in and out, in and out. Good. Squeeze the glute as you push to the top. Four to go. In. Out. Let's make it a little bit harder. Knee comes in. Shoot out. Down and up. Again. Knee in. Push out. Down and up. You have two more. In. Out. Down. Here's your last one like this. Three count pulse in with the knee. Three. Two, keep it tight, push out strong. Three, two, and out. Two more, three, two, out. Last one, three, two, push out. Great work. Take the knee across and release the dumbbell. Stretch out the outer thigh and hip. Let's push to the top, let's deepen that stretch. Pull the knee into the chest, sit up nice and tall. Let's move on to ab work. Move your dumbbell out of your way and roll down onto your back. Head comes down last. I want you to tuck your pelvis, pushing your back into the floor. Take your hands behind your head for support. Inhale, exhale and push top. Lift and lower, lifting both shoulder blades up off the floor. Don't pull on your neck like this, okay? Both shoulder blades come all the way up. Beginners, keep your hands like this. Intermediate and advanced, crisscross the hands on the shoulder blades. I'm going to show you different levels of this exercise. Squeeze, four more. Your head is cradled at your forearms here. For even harder, extend the arms, or you can keep them crisscrossed at your shoulders, whichever you're more comfortable with. Here, your last four, lift. This would be the toughest of the three. Two, keep 
the right arm extended. Fold the left arm behind the head for support. Lift and lower. Pull the left knee into the chest. Now beginners, you can keep it here. Everyone else, extend the leg out for more resistance. Two counts lift. Up, up, and down. Again, lift, lift. Contract the abdominal wall. Two more. Up. Last one on this side. Sweep. Now one sweep to the top. Two pulses. Up and down. Again. Sweep top. Two pulses. Down. Two more. Abs pulled in tight here. And down. Last one. Up. Foot to the floor. Lift and lower with your hands back behind your head. Up and down. Exhale and crunch the abs. Four. Beginners, keep your hands here. Two. Crisscross your hands on your shoulder blades if you'd like to make it a little bit harder. Really focus on your abdominal wall. Think about how you want to shape your abs. Extend the arms out to make it a little harder. Your head is cradled at your elbows. Final four, lift and lower. And two, keep the left arm extended. Fold the right arm in to support the head. Lift. Pull the right knee into the torso. Beginner, stay here. Everyone else, extend the leg out for resistance. Up. Two counts up and two down. Here we go. Lift, lift, and down. Again, sweep top. You have two more of these. Up. Last one. Okay, sweep once to the top. Two pulses. And down. Let's do it again. Sweep, pulse, pulse, and down. Two, up. Here's your last one. Sweep top, pulse, and bring the foot to the floor. Pull your knees into your chest. Relax through your back. Deep breath in. Arms out to the side. Rock right, left. Massage your spine. This should feel really good. Now pull your knees back into your chest. Stretch your back. Relax your abdominals. Hands out to the side. Rock left, right. Eight times. Four. Good work. Extend your arms and legs and inhale. And now exhale and relax. Again, extend and inhale. Exhale and bring the arms to the side. Great set of abs. Let's move into our stretch. Bring your feet to the floor. Extend your right leg, inhale, and exhale. Pull it in towards you. Beginners, you might want to keep your hands behind your leg, or you can slide the hands up for more resistance. Pull the knees into your chest. Stretch through the back. And now extend the legs to the top. Flex the feet, forcing the heels to the ceiling. Exhale and pull the legs into the torso, deepening the stretch through the back of your legs. Hold it here. Bring your knees back to your chest again. Release the lower back. And now rotate your ankles two times, nice and slow. Good job. Bring your feet back to the floor. Extend your left leg to the top. Find your hand placement that you're comfortable at. And now pull the leg towards you, stretching through the left hamstring. Hold it here for a nice, deep stretch. You've done great today. This is your time to relax. Bring the knees back to the chest. And now extend to the top, flex the feet. One more time, let's make this our deepest stretch. Pull it in towards the torso. That should feel really good. Hold it here. And now bring the knees in and roll to your side. Take your right ankle into hand. Tuck your pelvis. 
Now push it towards me. You should feel this stretch running all along the front of the leg. From the hip all the way down through the quadricep. And now sit up. Swing the opposite leg around into straddle position. Nice and tall. Inhale up. Exhale and push forward. Good. Feel that in your inner thighs. And now sit up. Swing that leg around. Let's stretch the other side. Roll down onto your side. Take the ankle into hand. Hard pelvic tuck. Push towards me. Hold it here. All along the front of your leg, you'll be feeling this. Roll over onto your knees. And now come up onto your heels, pushing them all the way down into the floor. Feel the stretch in the calves. Make sure you have your tummy pulled in tight here to support your back. Good. Now slowly walk your hands into your legs. Feel the stretch increase up the back of the legs here. Now hands to the legs. Roll yourself top. Turn front, shoulder rolls to the back. Up and around. Relax your upper body. And two. Big inhale to the top. Lengthen the torso and drop the right hand in between the shoulder blades, putting pressure on the elbow. Take the left arm up and over, stretch through the side. And now bring the fingertips to the side of the head, stretch through the neck. Big inhale top, reach all the way through. And exhale bottom. Take the right arm into the tricep, push overhead right into it. Fingertips to the side of the head, stretch through the neck. Shoulder rolls again, nice and deep. Really stretch out after that long workout. Big inhale top, nice and tall. And exhale bottom slowly. Shoulder rolls to the back, four times. Pull it forward, up and back. Last two. This is it, everybody. Inhale, top. And exhale to the bottom. You've just completed Firm Cardio Sculpt, and I have no doubt that if you stick with this routine, and your fanny lifter, you're going to get the results that you want. You've done great today. Keep up the good work.